everyone. Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soraya. We are here today at Peninsula High School where you will meet the girls varsity basketball team. This has been a really challenging two years. And the things that I asked the girls, you know, like, like what did they learn the most were really insightful answers. For you as a coach, what has this been like? Oh, it's definitely been challenging, um, you know, and it's also been hard too, to, you know, because the girls, you know, like last year especially, we had to shut down for so long. It was just hard to see that, you know, they didn't really get to have that much of a season. Um, and it's just been tough with, you know, the masking, wearing the masks everywhere and having to, like, I've, tr you know, I track all the testing, so it's like they had to test before, you know, every week. And so it's, it's definitely added a whole nother dimension. <laughs> You know, a whole other dimension to what we usually have to do as far as the sport. It just added just a lot of more more challenges. Yeah, a lot I, more challenges. I, I even felt like in a lot of ways they grew up different. You know, like they're they've sort of had to grow up to be an adult, maybe yeah. faster yeah. than they would have. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. It's it's just been really interesting. You know, as a group this year, tell me a little bit about them. It's a really good group this year. We're, we're, we're talented. Um, I've got, you know, it's kind of a mix of between I have upperclassmen and lowerclassmen. Uh, so we go from freshmen to seniors. And, um, you know, some of them have been playing for almost four years now. Uh, so it's great to see, too, because I have, it's kind of like a basketball family. So, yeah. you know, like the, the older ones look out for the younger ones and try and help them out when they can, which is really what you want to see as a coach. You know, they, they kind of have each other's back out there. So it's really nice to see that, that they're supportive. They want each other to do really well, and it's, um, they're positive with each other. It's been fun. Yeah. What's the biggest message that you always want them to remember? As far as, like, the season or? Just in general, I think. Maybe what they learn or just, you know, from being a part of the team. Yeah. I mean, I want them to, I want them to be, when they look back, it's a, a positive memory where they, they think of all the good things they have. You know, we, we travel and we go to San Diego so that we can bond as a team. And it's just trying to, it, it should be fun. You know, they're in high school. They should have fun. It's competitive. And, you know, I do expect when they go out and play to be competitive, but they should have fun. And these are friendships that they develop, that they will be lasting friendships. But it's just, I think, being an athlete, a student athlete, is such an important thing. And I think it's really great to have student female athletes. I see them as being role models to other young girls. I think it's really, it's really exciting to see how far basketball's come and to see how they are and how they develop. And, you know, we, you know, to see young girls come to the games and watch them play. And they're, they're role models and they're kind of setting the, setting the tone as far as, you know, kind of the path for the, the other generations to come. And, you know, it's, I've been doing this for a long time. You and, have. And, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, <laughs> so, you know, just to kind of see the growth over time too, you know, because basketball's changed a lot too in the last few years. And, it's, you know, there's a lot more talent. There's a lot, you know, a lot of great athletes out there. And, but for them just going to be competitive and enjoy what they do, enjoy being out there with their team and, and the camaraderie that comes with it is really important. How long have you been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport? Uh, I've been playing since like first grade and both of my older brothers played so I kind of grew up playing. Did you ever um, try any other sports or? Um, yeah, I've done a little bit of everything like soccer, dance. <laughs> I still do a little bit of dance, and but basketball's a winner. You know, interesting. What do you think you've learned from dance that helps you with basketball? Uh, I think you learn how to use your muscles correctly, mm -hmm. and there's a lot more that you think about. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? There's always stuff to improve, like dribbling and shooting never ends, and just endurance as well. You guys have had a, a challenging two years. What do you think you've learned the most out of all that? Uh, I think you just have to know never to give up because we even started the season with like two big losses, but we came back in one day league. Okay, and then um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Oh, uh, it's definitely a struggle at Penn High. Yeah. But uh, you just gotta get it done, I guess. <laughs> I've been playing basketball since I was, I believe, five years old, so for about 13 years now. And I think I just chose it because my brother was playing it at the time, so I just kind of followed in his footsteps. I tried like softball for a year, but I wasn't very good at it, so I just stick with basketball. I think just playing it at a young age, I always liked it a lot, and plus like I really like, people on my team were like really nice to me, and like it was almost like a family, so I think that's why I stick with it. It's pretty difficult, I don't know if I've yet like ever Put it together but i think just like writing everything down of what i have to do each day and like 
obviously I've been playing for like on bar for four years so I'm pretty used to having this like two hour practice every day having games so I think it's just to trust each other on the court and off the court I think like every team that I've been a part of that's been close has always like trusted deeply in each other and I think that definitely helps us play as, as a team Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. I think I've been playing close to 10 years now. Um, I chose it because my mom played basketball, so she kind of put me in when I was younger. And I really liked the team. I had a really good first team, so then that made me like stick with it. And this team is kind of amazing, so I had to stay for four years. Did you um, ever try any other sports? Uh, I did soccer for a while. That was like my second favorite, okay. but this one ruled it out. What, what do you think it was about this sport that made you want to stick with it? Um, like I said, the teamwork yeah. was really, really nice. Um, and I also like, like, in basketball games, what, what was different about soccer, soccer was so, like, big, and you couldn't see the people. I like the closeness of the basketball. You could see the players. You could kind of interact with the crowd a little bit. That was, like, my favorite part when I was playing. Okay, and then um, you guys have had a really challenging two years. What do you think that you've learned the most from that? Um, with COVID, it's taking things for granted. I made me really, really, really miss this year, especially last year, because. We couldn't play for a lot, and um, I miss these girls so much. So it really made me um, cherish what I have and remember what is important to me. Okay. How do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? I still haven't figured that out, and it's been four years. <laughs> um, I think definitely I schedule everything. So I know like every day we have practice two to four. So I know like that's a period for basketball and then I go home immediately and shower. I have to schedule my time in order to get all my homework and schoolwork done. But it is hard for sure. Especially like last year was a really hard year to combine everything and then COVID, but I'm managing. It's fun, so that's what keeps me going. What do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, personally, it's a confidence thing for me. I think I struggle like, if I do one wrong thing in the beginning of the game, it kind of ruins me for like the whole game. And I'm really trying to work on building myself up and being like my own biggest fan rather than like my worst critic. Um, and I definitely have gotten a lot better this year. I've been playing since I was six, so that's 12 years now. And then I didn't really choose it, my mom chose it because she thinks it's the most interesting to watch, so she put all of my siblings in it. <laughs> now did, yeah. you ever, did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I did gymnastics for like four or five years. Wow. Yeah. Now, are you still playing? Are you still doing that as well? Or No, no. I'm too tall, but yeah. I still have some of the skills. What do you think you learned the most from, from doing gymnastics that helped you with basketball? Poise. Like, you got to keep your face straight. And I'm still not very good at it, but I think what I have learned is from that. Yeah. You know, you guys have had a very challenging couple of years. Mm -hmm. What do you think you learned the most from that? Just in general or like COVID-based? Yeah. Or? Um to value my teammates. Like we, we, our sophomore year, or my sophomore year, we went through so many games and like together for so long. And then it was like cold turkey of quarantine, like couldn't see them forever. And it made me value my teammates and like our community a lot more, I think. Okay. And then what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Better? Um, specifically, I do a lot of post moves. So when I came in my freshman year, I wasn't very good at them and now I'm, over quarantine and like whenever I have time off I try to get better at them. Okay and um, how do you sort of balance the basketball time with the school time? Um, my friend Liz she gave me like she has this planner and it's so well organized like everything is a different color and it's so organized so she taught me how to do it and that's how I keep my life organized now is I just plan and like agenda everything. And now how, um, how long have you been playing basketball and why did you choose it for your sport? Um, I have been playing basketball since I was 10 years old. Um, I started playing basketball because I saw my friends playing basketball. Um, it, it looked interesting and fun. And I feel like I felt like, like um, I'd like to be the part of the team. Okay, and did you ever play any other sports or just basketball? Uh, just basketball. Okay. And you guys have had a very challenging couple of years with COVID. What do you think you learned the most getting through that? Um, personally, like, I, had, um, I have to be patient about the situation. Like everything, everything will change soon. And like, um, like be flexible about that. Yes, for sure. And then, um, from season to season, what do you work on to get a little better at basketball? Um, I usually go to the park and 
practice a lot, like shooting, three point shot, and also jump shot. Okay, and how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Um, like, do you do your homework right away, or, or how do you do it so that you get everything done? Um, I use lunch time to finish my homework. Oh, Kelly, um, are you a senior now? I am, Oh yeah. my gosh, okay, it's been four years. <laughs> Tell me um, why, you play, why you started playing basketball and why you stuck to that one. Yeah, um, so my, like, basketball is kind of a family sport for me, so like my parents played and my siblings played and all that, so I'm kind of, I was kind of like thrown in just because um, I wanted to go against the grind, but I couldn't, like it's, it's very much like part of my family, so part of that like team aspect and like learning that like type of rodeo um, is a big part of like my family values and like kind of how my dad like grew me up, like taught me, and so that's a big part of like the team aspect and learning to work with a team and learning to play hard and work hard. And I like the physicality of it. It's a lot of just like mindset. I love the mindset of it. Did, did you ever try any other sports or? I uh, kind of. I, I wanted to be a cheerleader and I wanted to be like kind of a like stunt person, but I went to a camp, figured out it wasn't for me. Uh, tried gymnastics. Tried. Taekwondo, none of them just stuck. They're not, they didn't stuck with me. Not Stick like with this me. one. Yeah. Not like this one. No, oh, no. Okay, and then what did you work on from season to season to get a little better? Uh, definitely different things throughout the years. I mean, obviously everything progresses and changes. I think a constant is definitely like mindset, so mentality, keeping like keep on watching the game constantly. Uh, but also like working on my shot, working on my form. I, I'm a huge like form shooter, so. Love that, and then passing, just seeing things um, like from a point perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and you know, the last two years have been very challenging. What do you Completely. think you learned the most from all that? Oh my gosh, so much. I mean, like, in terms of basketball, like, during COVID, it was really hard to keep that connection and stay in shape, and you know, again, keep that connection with my team. So, like, in terms of the sport, like, Definitely just learning how to be a leader and like kind of creating a bond or keeping a bond that will remain like even when we're not even playing basketball. So that's, I think connection, like keeping connections is a huge thing that I learned from COVID. Okay, Lizelle, tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Well, I've been playing since um, second grade, I think. And I just, I used to play with my brother all the time and my dad. And it's just brought really good endorphins to me. So. I've always li liked playing it, yeah. Did you ever try any other sports? Or? Yeah, um, before basketball, I played soccer. Okay. Like my brother, he plays soccer as well. Did you, um, is that something that you still play, or did you just, no? No, I was like, uh, I like basketball a little bit more. What do you think it was about basketball that made you want to stick with that? Um, maybe it was like a smaller court, and it was like, Faster, I guess. Yeah, definitely for faster. sure it's faster. Um, you guys have had a challenging couple of years. What do you think you learned the most getting through COVID? Um, well, I feel like you have to look at the positive side, you know? You have to look at the positive sides okay. a lot, you know? Because you can't, like, get down, and then that just ruins ruins your insides, you know? Yeah, your that's mindset. true. Absolutely, 100%. Um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Oh well, I um I write down I write down um, all my assignments and stuff and like reminders and notes in my planner so I don't forget and I have like posting notes as well, um, so that really helps. What's been the most fun part of the season here, this year? I think San Diego was the most fun because I got really close with my uh, teammates and yeah. So lots of team bonding when you guys went. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot of team bonding. That's yeah. awesome. I've been playing basketball since uh, middle-ish. Of seventh grade. Okay. Um, I chose it as my sport just because, like, I don't know. I used to watch basketball um, on TV as I was little, and like Steph Curry, like I don't know. I guess like he's the like, one who inspired me to play basketball because like everything he did is like he's just so cool. So I was like, dang, I want to be him. Did you ever try any other sports or? Um, no. Actually, I I used to play tennis, not like per like 
not like seriously, but just for fun with my dad because he knows a lot about tennis. And I really enjoyed that, but I felt like basketball was more right for me. Okay, and you, you guys have had really big challenges the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What do you think you've learned the most from that? Um, I think that like, although like, COVID can like get the most of our players and everything we always find a way to push through because I remember like especially just a few months ago a lot of our players had COVID but we still managed with the team that we had left we still managed to like push through in the games and like get the W. Okay and then um, how do you sort of balance the basketball time with the school time? Honestly it's really difficult because like you know basketball is like two hours and then you go home and then I only get picked up at around like 4.30 because practice ends at 4 and then I go home and then I feel like I want to rest and I only start my homework by 5 and then it's kind of challenging especially before test days because everything is so hectic especially on game days too because like I'm usually only coming back home by like 9 but I'm honestly like my strategy is just to get the easy stuff over with done because I'm a night worker so I just like put my math homework and every all my long homework towards the end so I can just grind it out after. Uh, I've been playing basketball since I was four. Wow. And um, my mom played in high school and my dad played after college. It's actually like how they met. They met at a basketball league so I guess it like it kind of runs in the family. Okay did you ever try any other sports or? Um, I did soccer in elementary school. Okay. And I did cross country in middle school and freshman year of high school. And so, was there, is basketball the one you spend the most time with, obviously? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what do you think was about basketball that made you want to stick with it for so long? Uh, I think a big part of it was the community. Like, a lot of my closest friends are some of my teammates. Okay. So, yeah, like, yeah. Because That's you've been fun. playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Uh, right now, I'm currently working on outside shooting and okay. mid-range shots. And also just working on becoming like a better dribbler so I can like create my own shots and create for others. Okay, and you guys have had a really challenging couple of years. What do you think you've learned the most from that? Um, I would say I've learned how to become mentally stronger under pressure. Okay. Like I still struggle with it every now and then, but just learning to just give it your all and have no regrets and to not worry about who's watching or anything like that and just playing hard. Okay, and then um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Um, I would just, I don't know, just like trying to stay off my phone. Yeah. It helps me manage my time a lot better. But yeah, after practice, I'll just like shoot around for a little bit and then I just go straight to homework. I've been playing since first grade. Um, I really like the pace of it because I played softball before and it was kind of a lot slower, so I like the pace. So I was just, my next question was going to be um, if you've ever played any other sports, yeah. what do you think that it made you like basketball more? I mean, I don't know. I've always been super competitive and so like, just, yeah, getting okay. to, like when you lose the ball or something, getting to get it back on the other side is nice compared to softball, which is slower. Okay, you've been playing for such a long time. What do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Uh -huh. I mean, just shot basics and ball handling, stuff like that, just the basics. Okay, and um, what do you, um, how do you sort of balance the basketball time with the school time? Um, I mean, it's best when I get to my schoolwork as soon as I get home. Sometimes that doesn't happen, but yeah. Okay, and then, um, What's the message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, just playing as a team. We always play better when we play as a team. Um, okay. And when we control the tempo and not the other team. Lakers, Clippers, or somebody else, who's your favorite team? Probably the Warriors. Oh gosh. Um, I'll go with Lakers. Warriors and Bucks. I'm gonna have to say the Lakers, but probably only because my mom works like with the Lakers, so kind of obligated in that point. Yeah. Lakers all the way. I like the Heat. Okay. Because I don't like the Lakers and I don't <laughs> like the Clippers. I have always been a Lakers fan and I will always be a Lakers fan no matter what. The Bulls. The Bulls, yeah. Chicago Bulls. Yeah, you know? Chicago Bulls. Yeah, I watched the last dance. Ooh, <laughs> I'll just stick with Lakers, even though they're not doing too hot. I'm just LA, you know. And we wish the girls good luck as they move through the playoffs. I'm Maria Sorreo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field Local Edition.